The anime industry has grown a lot in terms of both the shows created and the income it brings in. And one of the largest factors in this is the rise of digital streaming, especially Netflix and Amazon who are known to pay way more than the usual licensing fee to secure original programming. However, it's often been noted that this money only goes to the largest anime companies like Aniplex, Warner Bros and Toho, while little makes its way back to the animators themselves. This is particularly bad for animators who are just starting out, who get paid unlivable rates. One animator said she was earning the equivalent of $500 a month during her first year. But now it seems Netflix is putting their money where their mouth is, in their first initiative to help out new animators. There's two main issues right now lack of wages and lack of training. In fact, a lot of the animators who debut successfully in the industry today were already good, having taught themselves animation online and managed to debut as a key animator while skipping the in-between phase. But of course, this isn't a path open to everyone, and it's important to have animators that are trained in the production process of the studios themselves. And so that was the reasoning behind Wit Studio opening up a training school for animators in collaboration with both Netflix Netflix and the animation school Sasayuri. Animation students will study there under a curriculum established by Sasayuri. The animators will study for six months and be provided approximately $1,350 for living expenses and $5,800 worth of tuition each month by Netflix. One of the issues right now in the industry is that the animation studios themselves don't really have the income to provide training while also funding anime production, so Netflix bankrolling it means that it won't take away from their production work. In fact, it will aid it. Once they've graduated, they'll be offered a contract to work with Production IG or Wit Studio to work on in-between animation, mainly on Netflix original projects at those studios. There are conditions. Students must be currently living in Japan, be between the ages of 18 and 25, have either graduated or are about to graduate high school, and there are currently only 10 slots for the first April to September period. Netflix generally works more as a licensor than a producer, but they do have anime creators employed who help shape their policy towards the industry. One of these creators is Taiki Sakurai, chief producer of anime at Netflix who started out in the industry working under the name Yoshiki, writing the scripts for Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. Likewise, their director of anime at the company is Taito Okihira, one of the founders of the anime studio David Production. They used this experience to bring together anime productions, introducing studios to writers and companies all over the world. And this has led them to creating a production partnership with a bunch of studios in Japan, including Wit Studio and their parent IG. This partnership doesn't mean much outside of telling us that these studios are currently working with Netflix on original shows, but now it seems that this partnership can open up further collaborations like this. Right now it's just at Wit Studio, but it's possible that similar initiatives could be set up at other studios. And in a way, this is kind of the best thing overseas licenses can do. Right now they're funding so much, but all it's doing is putting strain on the studios that actually have to make it. This is a way of helping these teams and new animators grow to support this massive workload. Thanks for watching OsuQuest in Japan. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.